in this lecture, we are going to begin our project of building an app that will classify images with Swift UI and Core ML, specifically the MobileNet V2 neural network. Our first step is going to be to load a Core ML model into a new Xcode project. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. So open Xcode and here select create a new Xcode project. Then we're going to be prompted to choose the template we're building for iOS. The application type is just a regular app and we don't need any frameworks or libraries. Then we can press the next button and give our project a name. I'm going to call this product my image classifier mobile net. And the interface will be Swift UI and the language will be Swift. We don't need core data or tests at this time. After that you can press the next button and you'll be prompted to choose a location where to save your project. Choose a location and press create and Xcode will create the project folder for you at that location that you specified. All right, and here is the Xcode project loading. We have all our typical windows and we can toggle closed any sidebars that we don't want to appear by pressing on their little icon here. So I'm just going to toggle that closed. We have our preview that we can refresh and we have our code which we can zoom in on with command plus. We also have a preview that we can resume and at any point at the top of our header here we can change the preview that we want to use like we can use an iPhone 13 Pro instead of an iPod touch. That will change what our preview is using and what our simulator is using. We have your typical project at the top you have the project name. If you click on this you'll be taken to the project information. Make sure the deployment info is iOS 15. That is what we'll be using for this course. So make sure that is set. Then you have your project folder. You have one file called your image classifier mobile net app dot swift. So it's just the app swift file for your project. Then you also have a content view which stores the view of the app. And that view currently just has hello world. You may have to resume the preview several times for it to start the first time you create the project. You also have an assets where we'll be putting in images for the classification. So we can drag and drop images here and then we can use our model to classify the content of the image. And we have preview content for preview assets. So now let's drag in a machine learning neural network into this project. So luckily for us, thanks to Apple, we can access machine learning models that are actually pre-built. So here, if you go to the site of developer.apple.com slash machine learning slash models, then here you can actually take a look at some machine learning models built by Apple themselves, specifically for core ML. So you can take some models that are pre-built. Now you can also build your own models in a language like Python, and then you can convert them to be able to use them in Core ML. The conversion process is quite simple. So you have options. You can build your own models or use pre-built models. Let's start by using these pre-built models. So if you scroll down, you can see different pre-built models like you have here, FCRN depth prediction for predicting the depth from a single image. MNIST for classifying a hand-drawn digit and more. And more models are added over time. So we also have updatable drawing classifier to recognize drawings. Mobile Net V2 is what we'll be using to classify the dominant object in a camera frame or image. We have ResNet 50 for image classification and SqueezeNet for image classification. So those three are similar, but they are built differently. Then we have Deep Lab V3 to segment the pixels of a camera frame or image. So image segmentation here. We have YOLO V3 for object detection, which can find not just a, the dominant object inside of an image, but can actually find multiple objects in an image or video. We have YOLO V3 Tiny, just a simplified version of YOLO V3. And we have PoseNet for pose estimation. 
Then we have a text model, BERT Squad, find answers to questions about paragraphs of text. And there are many more models out there that are MIT licensed or open source that you can use or similar licenses that you can use in your projects. So not just these, you're not just limited to these, you can find other models for CoreML or even build your own models for CoreML. Now for this project, we're going to be using MobileNet V2. So here you can click view models and code sample and you can see we have the model MobileNet v2.ml model, that is a core ML model file type. You have a similar version, but with half precision floating point numbers. You have the model optimized with 8-bit quantization with k-means. And then you have here a tutorial classifying images with vision and core ML. You can see the original source and the documentation for it. So for this project, just download the first one up there called the mobilenetv2.ml model. You can download this and then just drag and drop it straight into your project. It's 24.7 megabytes. And I've also downloaded it and included it in the source files for this section. So you can find that at the end of the section. So you can go back to your Xcode project and just drag that model right in here anywhere into the project folder. So here I'm just taking the ML model file and dragging it right into the project. Now you'll get this prompt to choose options for adding these files. You can copy the items if needed. You want to check that box. So you'll copy them into the destination. For the added folders, we'll create folder references and we'll add to the target of the application. You want to make sure that is selected as well. Then you can press finish at the bottom right and now the model will be added to your project. So it will just be another file in the project. If you click on the model, you can see information about it. Okay, so just give it a moment to load when you open it for the first time. But here you can see how the model works. And of course, there's also documentation for the model, but this is like the quick view. So you can see the model type is a neural network classifier. We have its size and its document type is a core ML model. It's available as of iOS 11.0 and higher and other OSs as well. Then we have the model class, which is automatically generated, which means that you can actually reference this model just like any other Swift class. Next, you have general information about the model. You have metadata. So this model detects the dominant objects present in an image from a set of 1001 categories, such as trees, animals, food, vehicles, people, etc. The top one accuracy from the original publication is 74.7%. We have the authors and then we have the license for use of this model and no version. Then we have additional metadata here for the model. We have precision and storage and compute precision. Okay, then on the right hand side, we have class labels. So there are a thousand class labels here of the dominant image object. So first is background, then we have a tench, we have a goldfish, great white shark, tiger shark, hammerhead, electric ray. So here we have tons of different animals that could be detected. And then after animals, we get into other objects as well. So let's scroll down. We have a bunch of different animals. Then we have things like a barn, a barber shop, a baseball, a basketball, a bathing cap, a bath towel. So objects and animals are able to be detected. Okay. Then we have a preview of the model. So you can click, can click on this little preview button and just give it a moment to load for the first time. So here you can preview how the model would work. So you can drag or add an image right here into this little section. For example, here I have a cat image and I can drag it right in there. And then this is a preview of how the model does its job. So I've dragged in a cat and now the model is processing the image. It doesn't look at the image name, it just looks at the contents of the image. So it analyzes each pixel and uses the neural network technique. And look at this, the result is Egyptian cat with 36% confidence. Then we have a lynx with 15% confidence, a quilt with 3% confidence, Siamese cat, tiger cat, carton, and angora rabbit. So we get the top several predictions. Okay, so that is how the model gives you the results. You can then click on predictions and you can see the input and the output that the model expects. So for the input, the model needs an image that has color that is 224 by 224 pixels. Now, even though my image was not that size, it was able to be processed by the model because it was resized here thanks to the preview. Then we have the description of the input. We need an input image to be classified. After that, we have the outputs. So the outputs are a class label probability, 
where we have a string and a double. This represents the probability of each category. And then we have the class label itself, the most likely image category. Finally, we have a utilities button where we can see a model encryption. So we can create an encryption key to encrypt the model. We have cloud deployment, so we can create a model archive to prepare this model for core ML model deployment with CloudKit. And we have model update. We can update this model to the ML package format. This will allow you to edit model metadata. Right, so that is some information about the model. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership, where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.